creek Walk him up and down in the summer heat Same old boy changing like the seasons Country kid turn it to a town right heathen Hey everybody, welcome back to Old Man Van Running. We're here again, as always, in the Old Man Van Cave, in the Old Man Van Castle. And I'm going to tell you, last you saw me, I had just finished week eight of my marathon training program for the New York City Marathon. And I had hit every workout through eight weeks. I was really, really excited about things. And then something happened. I developed a pain in my abdomen. I thought I had a hernia. I got checked out by multiple doctors. No confirmation of a hernia, but I still have some pain there. I have been able to get runs in, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, but it's just been a struggle. Then I came down with a real bad cold last week, and uh, I still got in a couple of five-mile treadmill runs, but I had to take some days off, so this abdominal pain that I still haven't fully resolved and this cold... And it's kind of changed my training a little bit. Uh, week number nine, I was not able to get in the amount of runs that I had planned to do. I had to take a couple of days off. And as you remember, week number nine was supposed to be the first of 50 mile weeks. That's in my long and short interval training block. And I had the New Haven Road Race, the Facts and Law New Haven Road Race 20K on Monday, Labor Day. And that is the USA Track and Field National Championships for 20K. And I was going to run that as a training run. Well, a couple of days prior, I didn't think I was going to be able to do that run at all. I was having too much abdominal pain. And I'm like, it's just not worth taking the chance. I felt a little better on Sunday. And then I woke up on Monday morning, Labor Day. And I said, you know what? Let's just give it a shot. So in this video, we are going to talk about the facts and law 20K, Facts and Law New Haven Road Race 20K. So we'll go over how that race went. I do have some, what I think is pretty cool, 360 degree video. So without further ado, let's get out to the Facts and Law New Haven Road Race 20K. So good morning, everybody. It is the 4th of September, Labor Day in the United States. And uh, you know, <laughs> it's been a rough week plus. Um, Wednesday and Thursday I had to take off. Had a pull in my lower left abdomen. Not my groin, but in my lower left abdomen. Um, I ran on Friday. Struggled towards the end of that run. Didn't feel that great afterwards. Went to urgent care on Saturday. Um, they checked me out for a hernia. Didn't have a hernia, so that's good. At least no outward uh, appearance of a hernia. Maybe a muscle strain, not really sure. Everything else was fine, so, um, you know, all my vitals and whatever, so that's good. So I am uh, going to go get an ultrasound tomorrow on Tuesday, but I'm feeling a little better. Uh, took Saturday off, took Sunday off. So I'm going to attempt to run the New Haven Road Race here in New Haven, Connecticut. It is the USA Track and Field 20K Championships. Um, really excited about this. I really wanted to run it. Um, this is week 10 of my marathon training, so week nine didn't go as planned. You know, things happen. Um, you gotta listen to your body, but I think I can make it through this today. I'm not gonna run at half marathon pace or 20K pace for that matter. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna try to run maybe, you know, maybe 15 to 20 seconds faster than marathon pace but about 20 to 30 seconds slower than half marathon pace. So using this as a training run, gonna tack on um, some warm up and cool down mileage to get around 15 for today. So let's see how this works out. I am going to take out the brand new Hoka Carbon X, actually Rocket X2s. Uh, so I'm gonna give those a shot today. Um, let's see how they work and uh, maybe they'll be my New York City Marathon shoes. So I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it a shot. It's going to be warm out there. It's going to be high 70s, around 80. Um, probably low to mid 70s at the start of the race at 8.30 a.m. So let's see how that goes. I will be carrying my 
Insta360 X3 360 degree camera today. I've taken the lens guards off so I should get better quality video out of this. So wish me luck. Gonna get myself uh, hydrated up here. Get a little salt in me because it's gonna be warm. Get some um, sunblock on and all my gear together and get ready to go. Cheers. So here we are out here on the New Haven Green, getting ready for the Faxon Law, New Haven Road Race 20K, USA Track and Field National Championship. So you can see a lot of people getting ready here. We are about 45 minutes away from the start. Now it's gonna be pretty warm out here today, as I mentioned uh, at the car. It's gonna be in the 70s to low 80s. So it's gonna be really important to, to hydrate I will hydrate uh, throughout the race. I'm gonna keep my pace between half marathon pace and marathon pace, so it's not gonna be an all out race today. I'm um, looking for my buddy Bruce, as you've seen in uh, my New York City half marathon video. So he's out here running today, so I will run into him at some point. I will take the Insta360 out on the course and get some cool video there. So I am wearing the Rocket X2s today. Feel pretty good, feel true to size. No big issues there. Um, I am wearing some Inigi toe socks liners underneath my socks just to you know, keep my toes from getting any blistering during the run, but they feel pretty darn stable and very light and actually even a better fit, at least put my feet in the first time than the Endorphin Pro 3. So let's get rocking. side of New Haven, people come out on their lawns and their front porches to cheer you on, and we cheer each other on the whole way. I just wanted, I got the COVID, so we're 20 cans, I'm with you in spirit, but I'm, gonna, I'm coming for you for you 5K folks, so get ready. Have a great, great race out there today. Enjoy New Haven, welcome to New Haven for the folks that are new to the city, and enjoy this race. Good luck, everybody. Inside lane, missing exits, include to the pavement, between the lines, I keep my gate straight ahead, as the last stop flies by, no more waiting for the gun to fire, no more walking through revolving doors, I've gone around once, and I don't need to go around anymore, break away, forget your sober case, stop dwelling on empty words, stop stalling in the doorway, and cancel the cruise control.
Huh? You got it. All right. What's your goal today? Survive. <laughs> That's a good one. Marathon training run. Dang good goal. I follow you on YouTube, man. Hey, I follow you too. with the sneakers, man. You do a good job talking about the sneakers. First day in the Rocket X2 right. today. Good job, man. Okay, there you have it a pretty pretty tough race right but you know I wasn't planning on running half marathon pace or even faster than that I was planning on 750 per mile didn't get that got 802 officially 806 per mile and with those conditions you know what it was hot it was sunny humid you know a lot of folks had a really really tough time that day so I'm pretty happy with that as a training run only problem is I'm still having this abdominal issue here and uh, it hasn't been resolved yet. Seeing the doctor, let's see, I went to the doctor the Saturday before I ran. Then I went and had an ultrasound the day after the race. Then I came down with a real bad cold until Friday. Thought I might have COVID. That tested negative, so awesome. 
And now I have an appointment with the general surgeon on the 18th to take another look at this you know, issue I'm having to see, is there still possibly a hernia in there or something else going on? So I might have to have a scan, but I just want to know right up front, if there's nothing for me to worry about, if it's just a minor muscle strain, a couple of days off isn't going to hurt, but I really want to know what's going on because, you know, we're creeping up eight weeks to go from the New York City Marathon. The positive part is I've still been able to get some runs in. And uh, let's go over quickly the marathon plan in Excel. And you'll see that I got two 15-mile runs in, basically, a 20K with a mile and a half warm-up and a mile-plus cool-down. So I got into 15 miles a week ago today, and then I got in 15 miles yesterday. But it has been a struggle. I am on, Old Man Van is on, the struggle bus. So here we are back in the plan very briefly, you see week number nine, that wasn't too darn good, was it? So, you know, I had to miss the Wednesday and Thursday because I had this abdominal issue. The Thursday or the Friday, which I would normally take as a rest day, I ran seven easy because I didn't run on that Thursday. And then Saturday and Sunday I took off. So I only got 21 miles in that week. I was really feeling bad about myself. I did go to the doctor. They didn't find a hernia on the 21st, but then they recommended I go get an ultrasound on the following Tuesday, which I went and did, and they still couldn't find a hernia. But now I'm going to see a general surgeon to see if there's any scans or anything they need to do there. However, although I only got 21 miles that week, I then went into week 10. I had the New Haven Road Race 20K on that Monday total of 15 for the day because I did put a mile and a half warm up and then a little over a mile cool down. Took the Tuesday off because that was a upper tempo run. And then on Tuesday, took that off, went, had the ultrasound. Then I did five easy both Wednesday and Thursday to get some miles in. Rest day on Friday. I was starting to feel sick these two days, starting to come down with a cold. And I got to Friday Decided to take it off. Went to the doctor on Friday again. Now for this cold, thought I might have COVID. Took a COVID test, came back negative. And by 8 o'clock that night, it was gone. So I must have been fighting this thing off. Had the major battle or the final battle on that Friday. And then uh, kicked it. 7 easy on Saturday. And then I did 15 on Sunday. It was kind of a struggle. These two runs were in very, very oppressively humid conditions, but I got through both of them. And I got 47 miles for the week on a week where I was supposed to get 50. Just no speed work outside of the New Haven Road Race that previous Monday. Now I'm in week 11, and we'll go into week 11 at the end of week 11 in my next video. So coming up soon, I have my review of the X Endurance Extreme Endurance Supplement. And then I have my first impressions review of my new, or what I think is my new, New York City Marathon racing shoe. And that is this bad boy right here, the Hoka Rocket X2. So stay tuned for that. Going to be a good review. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button. And hey, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll get notified when more videos are posted. As always, comments are greatly appreciated, really do help the channel. And please, if you like Old Man Van Running, I know I've been away for a little while, but hey, things happen. Please let your friends and your running pals know. So thanks for following along. And let me tell you, Old Man Van, is not giving up on his New York City Marathon plan. I'm going to get it. I'm going to make it. I'm going through some tough times right now. But it's all about the journey and pushing through. So please stay tuned. Next week, I'll try to post another update and let you know how I'm doing. So as always, I'm going to leave you right now with lace up those shoes and let's get out on the roads. Railroad tracks run along the creek Walk them up and down in the summer heat Same old boy changing like the seasons Country kid turn it to a town right heathen